Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I am coming and showing you a new way that I am using beads. So in my last video I was telling you I wanted to use more of my Maggie Holmes paper and so that's why I had um, picked out these beads from Panda Hall and I just love all the colors. So um, I was like I wanted to incorporate the beads on my Maggie Holmes and I just wanted to do a little bit more than dangles. I'm like okay what can I do? And then what I came up with um, was this. So what I did was I went ahead and used the beads and I sewed them by hand um, all around this image here. And there's some flowers here. And then you can see the back, it's quite messy. So this was my first go around. Um, and I think I have the hang of it and I wanted to show you how I did that with just some more simple ones. This one is pretty easy. You can see some of them are a little loose. Um, so I have to go ahead and tighten those up, but it was really easy to do, a little time consuming, but um, I definitely believe the end result is like definitely worth all of the time. And these I'm probably gonna go ahead and use on some of my pages that I have coming up for my swap. So I probably need to make five of these, but here's one that I made. And then I'm gonna use this, it says life is lovely. And then here's these really cute hummingbirds around this flower here. Um, and you probably can use these. I have a whole bunch of the, what is it called? Those cards, like those memory cards. Um, they're from Heidi Swap, the Heidi Swap cards. I have tons of those. I have Maggie Holmes, I have different styles. And I thought, hey, that would be perfect to be able to use those up too. And it gives a really good little, um, just very embellished and just very unique look to your, um, cards or these images I actually have, um, our Maggie Holmes too when it was came in a sheet and they're just cut apart. But look how beautiful that turned out. So I used the peach beads and some of the mustard and the orange beads. And this one I'm gonna show you a little bit more. It's gonna be easier just because of the box shapes that'll be quick to do. This one may be a little bit more intricate just because I'm going to go ahead and follow those lines. I'm gonna see how I do. Um, but I already prepped, so what I did in the back, this one I realized into the end, putting tape actually really helps. Um, so I went ahead and prepped this one. You can see I have tape in the back. So that'll help with the tearing because it is paper. And then here I put tape just along where I'm gonna go ahead and sew through. And then you will need a needle, and you probably can get like the embroidery needles. I just have these sewing needles, and then the beads that I'm going to use. So here, I think what I want to use is the, actually kind of like, uh, let's do these ones. Oh, those ones are kind of small. They didn't fit through the needle. Let's do, let's see, let's try these ones. So I just put some of these here. Like I said, this one should be pretty easy to do because you're doing straight lines so what you want to do is um, you want some pretty good light so you start here I start at the corner because that's where I want to start my bead and at the end here what I did to hold this in place you can see like it's coming off if it doesn't have anything held in place so I just took some tape and I just secured that down right here and that helped to keep it in place and then what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and put my beads in. Oh, you can see it here. And I'm just taking some beads, making sure that they fit. Um, like I said, I don't think this needle is ideal just because it's a sewing needle. I don't know if embroidery needles are thinner uh, on the bottom. Because some of these little tinier seed beads won't fit through. So you can see here. See, it's not going to fit, so I have to choose another bead. So I'm sure there are needles that are probably going to be a lot thinner than what I have here. And what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and measure. I can do one more bead. And when you're doing shapes, especially the rectangle or square shapes, they're probably going to be a lot easier to sew through. And then we're just going to go ahead and put that right through at the corner. So putting the tape on there definitely helps to 
secure it more. Oh, what did I do? Go tangled it up somehow. There it goes. There it goes again. Okay. So there's that. And what you can do is, again, you're going to need some good lighting. Um, and then that's going to be tight here. And then I'm just going to bring it right next to that other hole. And again, as you'll see, I'm going to take one bead here just to go ahead and get that. I'm going to bring it through the last bead that I had, the last bead hole, to make sure that I have that corner bead in place. So there it is. And then what we're going to do is we'll come around and we'll go through this hole again, right? I just did that the wrong way, didn't I? And then I'm going to go ahead and then put some beads the other way. And there you go. Again, you can go and adjust it as needed like this one. Uh, I'm really struggling with that one. I might put an extra bead in there, but look how beautiful that is. And you have something that's a little bit plain. You get jazz it up a little bit and give it some dimension. And then just to go ahead and loosen this up, you can either um, tie it or you can just go ahead and cut it like that. and tape it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and put this in the journal as just kind of like a little maybe centerpiece of the journal page. But I love that. Look how pretty that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I will come back and show you what I've done. And this is how this one turned out. If you see just this right here is bugging me a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. I kind of like the little imperfection of what it looks like, but see the beads all around it. Like I said, if you had what I found and what I learned about this is that if you have the right needle um, to be able to do like the maybe beading needle, I don't know if it's a beading needle or something like that, but you would be able to do this a lot faster. For me, it was just like trying to find the right size that would fit um, here. I mean, I used what I had, so it was fine, but it just took a little bit more time. But I just love the little effect on it. And you can just tell just, um, just it puts a little bit more of that crafty effect on it which I like and I wanted to try one more for you uh, we're gonna try this pattern here I just wanted to do this flower here and see how that would turn out so let's get started with that all right so again I've prepped my surface so that already has the tape in the back uh, I did find a smaller needle so I'm hoping that or has a smaller um, head pin there I'm hoping that's going to work. So the colors that I'm going to use right now are going to be the must like that shiny mustard color and oh yeah, these are going to work so much better. And the peach because I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just slowly put these in and you'll see now I think it's going to probably work a lot faster now that I have um a smaller needle so i'm just going to go all around and then do the mustard yellow and the peach and what i'm doing is i'm just i'm just um, sewing it through and then in the back i'm just following the lines of the flower so we'll do that it goes down here and then again i'll look in the back Sure that I get this all tight and uh, I don't know if you can see but in my light here 
I can see that I can do. So I want to go a little close to where I ended up at and go here. Unless I pop that back out and then it's going to again, again, we are going in with the mustard, that shiny mustard yellow and a peach. Those peach beads, I, the peach beads, I think are just beautiful. And the mustard just kind of gives it a little bit more of a, a pop in there. And so you can see how the flower is shaped. So I'm just following, I'm just basically sewing the shape of that flower. And then we're going to turn around right next to where you went in. I'm going to poke out. And again, putting that tape there really helps so that your paper doesn't tear. There, yes, I feel finding, getting a better needle definitely does help. And so again, following the line here, we're gonna go right here, push it in, and then bring it out. Another tip is to make sure this doesn't get all tangled up, because that's what happened to me on the last one, and it was kind of a disaster because I didn't want to lay flat and then what I've decided to do is go ahead and sew or um, actually just decorate these little tabs or the inside of the flower excuse me so I'm just basically honestly doing like a basic needle like you would a hemming I don't know if it's called a hemming switch I don't even know but um, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do each of these you can see all of that going through there um, so I just need to find out where my other point is here. There it is. So I'm just going to go through, go right here. And then I'm going to do that a couple of times just so that yellow can show up. And then we'll finish that off with that one. There we go. And that's how to decorate just your paper crafting with just different, um, just different embellishments in different ways. Because we all have our ways. That's why I think it's just beautiful. And sometimes it'll come out, sometimes it won't. But that's okay. And I'm trying to, I'm seeing how I feel about this. But I like it. I like the way that turned out and the way that looked. So here we go. So we have this one. We have this one. I found it's a little easier with just shapes like this. And then I did this one off camera. And you can see just it's just the stitching going in and out, in and out. And then I went around. This was an easy pattern because um, it had the little frame around it. So it was easy to, to thread through. And then I did the flowers. So again, I did these with the beads that I picked out from a Panda Haul. And I just love the combination. These are going to go really well with my Maggie Holmes collections that I have that I haven't used. And even some of my Heidi Swap, um, what do they call like the little memory cards. I can't remember what they're called right offhand, but I'm definitely going to use a lot of these colors and going to put these into part of my, um, my flip pages that I'm sending out to my partners and then the ice creams that I made I'm going to go ahead and give those as little gifts so I hope that you like this video I know it's a little long but I just wanted to go ahead and just show you all of the many things or the just different things that you can make and especially with beads and these colors I love these colors I am just obsessing over these colors right now but I hope that you have a wonderful new year and I will talk to you soon bye